Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today, we're getting started with our pattern. This is a request from a fellow queen, Shem. She has been asking for this pattern and I've been avoiding it because I didn't know how to do it. So I practiced and here we are today. So we're going to get started. We're going to have more than one part because we're going to first learn the stitch and then do the pattern. I just want to make sure that we make our second triangle bef before we can stop the the parts of the tutorials. Yeah, so those two things are vital for me. Learning the stitch and doing the second triangle. So, let's get started. So, this is the inspiration. This is my mom's belt. Pinky's belt. So, this is the inspiration. This is what we're going for. This is where I started. <laughs> and this is where I landed. What threw me off with this one is, is look at the lines, the border. It's very skew. So that made me realize good table, something is wrong. And ta-da! I really have to say shout out to Princess Ndoli because she's the one that guided me with this pattern. She told me the name of the pattern. She gave me pictures. And she really, really guided me. So thank you, Sisi Nyabonga. So... Let's get started. Let's get started. The stitch that we will be doing is called Ndebele stitch. Ndebele stitch. And the beads that I'm using are eight knot sized beads. Eight knot sized beads. Whether you use glass beads or you use plastic beads like me it's all up to you so I'm, i have my needle and my upholstery thread Ooh, my head is itchy and i was like because i just sprayed it so i made my knots here at the end i think i made three knots one on top of another so now this stitch what i love about it is that for me, I feel like it's one of those quickest stitch. So I'm going to pick up four beads. Okay, let me see. So the first two beads are going to be your white beads. First two beads are going to be your white beads. And then the next two beads that you're going to pick up is your black and white beads. So you're going to pick up two white bead beads, one black and two white beads. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your needle and insert your needle into the first two beads, the first two white beads that you started with, and then you pull, creating sort of like a circle, you see, and then you pull. So the four the the four beads have to be next to each other. So when you start it, it's like a a ladder stitch. So and then you set your thread from top to bottom. Hmm? So this is what we're starting on. We're starting our first two lines. The first two lines. So as you can see the border of our belt is in white and then the next row is in black ne? all right so now this is our bottom the white beads and this is the second line which is the one that starts the black bead so you're going to pick up a white bead and a black bead in that order first white and then black Okay, alrighty. You're going to take your needle, insert it downwards. 
So I really want us to move slow with the first, because we'll just be doing the first, let me not say the, the first three rows. I really want us to move as slow as we can, as we possibly can. Then you pick up black and white beads in that order. Okay, what's this thing? Black and white in that order. Insert your needle from the bottom to the top. The best thing about hitting rock bottom is that there's only one way up. And that is the top. Says Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon from Sing. Then you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead. Apparently the same too. I can't wait to watch it. To watch it. Me and my papas. Is it my papas? Move from the bottom. From the top to the bottom, you move downwards. So this is what we're going to do. For the next beads. In total we have to have 14. But we will have to do this pattern until we have 13. So that for the last row we have a strictly two white beads. So I picked up black and white bead. And I do these. And then I pull. Then move on to the next neighbor. Then you pick up a white and black bead from the top to the bottom, like this. Get the line. What's happening with the camera? And then insert your needle from the bottom to the top. I'm sorry that my fingers are covering, but I have to see. Then you pick up a black and a white bead. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you pick up white and a black bead. White and black. So you just have to make sure that when you pick up your beads and then you add them to your stitch, you have at the bottom you have your white row and at the top you have your black row. But at the end, at the corner or at the start you have your two white beads then we want to pick up one black and one white bead Sorry, the corner of the desk, as usual, it's doing. Then you pick up one white and one black. Then you pick up one black and one white. Set it under. Then you pull. Make sure it's next to it's secured next to each other. Then you pick up one white and one black. Edit from the top and move down. So 
So now in total, we have to have 14 lines, like vertical. So currently we have 13. We have to add our last line. Remember, the last line has to be solid white. So you're going to pick up your two white beads. Insert your needle from the bottom to the top. And then you insert your needle downwards like this. So the aim is to get your needle coming out of the speed, the first bead from the corner. So how do you do so? First going to move to that bead that is next to it, move up. You have to maneuver your way around. And then that's when from that bead you are going to move up to that to our final destination where we were meant to be. So now we are coming to our second row, row number two. So we've done with our first row, we're currently here. So we're going to pick up one white and one black bead. So we're going to pick up one white and one black bead. Oh, another thing, when you do this stitch, make sure that it's an even number. Any number that you divide by two and you don't have a remainder. Ne? Because now you're going to work in groups of two. That's why also I mentioned earlier that this stitch for me, I see it being a, the quickest stitch because you're working in groups of two. So you have your two beads, you have your white and your black bead. What you're going to do, you're going to move down like this. Make sure the two beads that you just added are secure. And then you move upwards like this to row number three. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So we have our frame. Now this is a point where we start adding our color. So we're going to add our yellow. So here's our two yellow beads that you picked up. Then you're going to insert your needle downwards like this. This is what I meant when I say you're working in groups of two. You see? You see? Yes. Yes. And then you move up. And then you pick up your two yellow beads. Where are my two yellow beads? There they are. My two yellow beads. I move downward. So I skip this bead that is that the thread is coming from. And I insert it into the next door neighbor. The neighboring. How's your neighbor? The neighbor. And then you move up. Up, up, up. In the sky then you pick up two yellow beads then you move down move up to our Michael Wayne and then you pick up two yellow beads. I, I love the rain. You, I like it when it rains. And then you, and then when it's about to rain, have you noticed how it, it, it smells like the sand? It smells like wet sand. Oh, it's a beautiful smell. So now we've set our foundation for our yellow. So now we get to this point, the polka dot section, because this is our end goal. 
So this is where the polka dots come from. So we're currently on our row number three. So we have to pick up one, we're at this point, one yellow and one black. One yellow, one black. There we go. And then we move up. And then at this point, we pick up two white beads. Two white beads. And then we move down. So as you can see, these are groups of two. Don't don't worry, don't worry when you see these gaps in between. That's how the pattern is designed. And as we move up, we'll take care of it. Don't 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 worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so the end goal is for us to get to this bead. So what we're going to do, we go to our neighbor and say, Makelwane. How you zone? And then insert our bead here. Then push up. I go. Yeah, ne? the knots. They will sort you out. When you start feeling yourself, the knots, hey, they'll come for you, Shem. <laughs> they're like, uh uh. And then you go back to the last row, the last row. That will take us to that bead that we were supposed to, that our thread is supposed to come out from. Ooh, let's focus. Yes. And this is where we are. So let's do our second row. It's raining. So we're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead as you can see you move down the next door bead and then you move upwards into the the next black bead the next black bead Okay, and then now you're going to pick up one black bead and one white bead. Just checking to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Sorry, pardon me. You're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead in that order. One white and one black bead. One white and one black bead. Insert your needle down. Yes. Then insert your needle upwards to the neighbor. So now we continue with our yellow we continue with our yellow triangle and then we pick up two yellow beads oh it's raining it's raining it's pouring two yellow beads i love it i love it oh, i wish i was sleeping as at this time but it's fine. It's fine. I'm here doing what I love, so I can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Then you pick up two yellow beads. You move down. And then you move up again. You pick up two yellow beads. 
yellow mellow yellow mellow trying to pick up this one yellow bead it's just dodging me young dodger there we go and then you move up 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 in the top base the top base of the mountains then you pick up two yellow beads again then you move down down to it down oh yes do it this is just another thing i'm sorry then you move up and then you pick up one black bead and one white bead one black and one white bead. You're going to move down. Okay. Going to move down. So now you have to start a new line. In order for us to start a new, a new, a new line, sorry, we have to be, our needle has to be facing that direction. It has to be moving out. On the last bead so what do we do okay we're going to move a bead down one more bead down and then we maneuver our way we maneuver we maneuver we move up into the next door bead I can't see properly Maneuver. Yes. See? This next door bead. And then, and then, okay, we move up. Ta-da! Ta-da! So this is where we should end up. Ne? Our needle or our thread should be outwards into the last, from should be outwards our thread should be outwards from the last bead so that in order for us to move on and start a new line so what do we do we pick up one white and one black bead take our needle move it down one on the black bead insert our needle there And then you move up into the next door. Neighbor. Ne. And then you pick up two yellow beads. You insert it downwards. And then two. Oh, and then you move up into the next door neighbor. Then you pick up two yellow beads. The yellow mellow. This is the last row that we'll be doing for today's tutorial. Because I feel that the first part we accomplished. The part whereby we are learning the pattern. So we just, the main goal for today's tutorial was to learn the stitch i'm sorry in terms of how you move around how do you turn how do you do this how do you do that and then on part on the part two video our main focus will be on the pattern itself for me my for me if you know the stitch that's all you need um, that's based on me that's my theory <laughs> if you know the stitch that's all you need you can do anything 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 even if you can get a picture using the stitch of a different pattern or you can kill it most as long as you know how you should be moving, that's okay. That's all you need. 
the rest pattern is just adding colors at certain places that that's all that it is so now you're going to pick up one yellow and one black the reason is because remember we are doing our triangle Oopsie. hi and then sorry about that <laughs> so remember our triangle has to has this slanted pattern so if we were to add a yellow bead on top of this yellow bead that means we won't achieve that slanted pattern so that's why we're picking up one yellow and one black bead let me put it like this so that you can be able to reference it nicely appropriately so i'm going to pick up one yellow and one black bead in that order you move down you move down down zones 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 and then you move up so here remember we're doing that polka 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 dot situation so you're going to pick up one white bead and one black bead one white and one black bead then you move down like this And then you move up into that bead. For me, this pattern is yo, is quick as yo. I'm so happy. <laughs> so now you want to pick up two white beads. Remember, at the end, we always have that white bead because that is the frame of our pattern. Imagine adding two beads at the same time. Sure. That must be the coolest. Okay. So, this is the last. This is where you're going to stop for today. Oh. Not here exactly. Let's do one more thing. Remember at the end, the main, the end goal is that we have to our needle has to be facing up from the corner bead so what do you do you move one more bead down you move one more bead down like this next door neighbor please help us move up move up from the next door neighbor and then you come back to the row the last row and then you move up so your needle is facing outwards from the last bead so this is where we're going to stop queens and kings thank you so much for watching this is our end goal this and this <laughs> thank you so much for watching queens and kings i love you guys so so much remember to love yourself respect yourself honor yourself and have fun if you love the content that you're seeing please consider subscribing see you on the next video bye